Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No more, kid. Say what up, it's your boy Duke Mungus. And yes, we're back. And today, man, I just kind of wanted to put these helmets head to head, side by side, and just get the difference to see which one I would like better to see if I can even tell the difference. Because I've always heard the AGVs are the top of the line. So, first up is the HJC Arfa. I am super excited to um, one get this helmet but also super excited to ride in this helmet. Uh, before I get started, shout out to my sponsor, Stage 3 Motor Works, for um, getting me this helmet. They always take care of my gear, parts on the bike. They always got you straight. Look in the description um, to see how to contact them. But I wanted this HJC ever since they announced it, like a few years ago, and they started testing it in MotoGP. So I was like, let's see how good this helmet is actually on the street. And I wanted to start it out with testing the helmet without having the the extra spoiler on the back diffuser on the back uh, because I just really wanted to experience the helmet and see how it was and I must admit I am very impressed with this helmet it is definitely um, two steps above the Arfa 11 Pro which um, anyone that knows me I've been running HJC's since I've been running HJC Arfa series since the 10 <laughs> I've been running them in um, dude this is definitely a step above uh, aerodynamics is really good um, without the spoiler head checks at speed really aren't bad and you guys got to understand I am on a naked bike um, doing highway speeds so it is it is pretty daggum extreme because at least on a sport bike you have some fairings and at least aerodynamics is a thing on naked bikes bro you you catching all the wind <laughs> i mean every piece of it so i knew this was going to be an extreme test and i was like because i know it's going to be an extreme test let me do some extra stuff so i'm on the naked bike i'm doing quite a bit of head checks just trying to get how this helmet feels how it sounds um and speaking of sound the helmet actually isn't loud i did hear them say that it's louder than the uh, arfa 11 I really couldn't tell if it was louder than Offer 11. It really didn't bother me. Um, so also something I did when I did this test, I want to make sure I rode in the helmet without earbuds. Normally I'm always riding with earbuds, so I got music jamming anyway. So, you know, I just be kind of rocking out. And I still can hear the elements that's going on outside, but I'm pretty much rocking out. So I was like, let me hear this helmet at the loudest it possibly can be. And you know what? It wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't annoying. I didn't feel like... Um, my ears are ringing. I didn't feel like I was, um, I didn't feel like my head was going to be hurting. I don't feel like, you know, um, it, 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 I mean, it was fine. It was fine with me being on the naked bike, being on a triple and being at highway speeds. I had no issue, no headaches, no, no nothing. It's, it's amazing. It's good. Uh, ventilates very well. Um, Oh, it had all the vents open as well and dude it i mean it just it it did what it was supposed to do and it did it extremely well um this is definitely uh a home run uh hjc i believe they knocked it out the park this is definitely you know this is definitely a step above the arfa 11 pro you can tell the work and the uh, technology that they put into it because this is actually pretty daggum good you can you can tell the difference it's definitely more aerodynamic than what the Arfa 11 is and something also you can tell like um so you can tell this helmet is definitely race focused uh and when you compare it to the Arfa 11 Pro but um HJC knocked it out the park man they did they did a really really good job the only thing uh I would have done different is the helmet released and they did not have 
at the time the tinted and color uh the mirror uh color visors available uh from my understanding the mirror visors are still not available but i was able to get a dark smoke but uh overall hjc is the bomb.com um i'm i've tested it out on a few sport bikes i mean and it's it's a thing it's a thing of beauty especially once you put the diffuser on there that joint is money with the diffuser on there like i i know some people might not like the looks of the diffuser but it is definitely needed on this helmet so hjc you did a good job right dude and do this i guess we're heading out for round two i'm not for sure if this would be a separate video or not but you see this is the pista 75th anniversary i'm gonna give this one a shot i have two pistas but the pistas should be the same i can already tell you i'm gonna like this inside a, a lot better now i'm not for sure if this is going to be a comparison or separate videos but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out <laughs> this piece that feels amazing bro i could even lie just on the skin like this feels like like, you don't even feel like you're wearing a helmet, bro. Like, it just, it feels a part of your head. Like, it's, it's pretty insane. But anyway, I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. Let's go ahead and get rolled. All right. <laughs> We're back again and now switching over to the AGV Pista. This um, is my first time in a Pista. I do have an AGV K1 that I actually uh, enjoyed minus the liner. The liner has like some kind of Velcro part that's around the forehead. And that junk would just dig into my forehead all the time. And that made me really not wear the helmet um, that much. But I did enjoy how light the helmet was, uh, the K1 helmet. So moving on to the Pista. First thing instantly I noticed about the Pista is it is a light helmet, but it's not even like like mind-blowing light like oh my god this is the lightest helmet i ever felt it's not even close like it's no it's not it's not surprisingly light it is a light helmet but it's not like knocking anyone's doors off not as far it didn't impress me with the weight of the helmet it didn't impress me what impressed me was simply picking up the helmet and the inside i don't know what kind of liner they use but oh my gosh it is one of the most comfortable liners i've ever felt in my life on the skin the joint feels like velvet bro it's like bro i'm not even lying it feels so plush that it makes the riding experience very comfortable and it added to the helmet like not feeling you know not feeling so helmet like um and i know part of a lot of that is attributed to the aerodynamics of the helmet but it's this helmet literally felt like it was part of my head like i couldn't really tell that i had a helmet on i've never been in a helmet that was so slippery through the wind at speed like i was blown away by how buttery this helmet was i was like yo there's no way this helmet is this daggum smooth it is butter smooth it is comfortable it's butter smooth the craftsmanship on this helmet is really good like you can tell that it's not um like the helmet does come with the price tag again shout out to my guy um stage three motor works for uh for hooking me up with this um and i'll put the link in the video so you can watch it because this helmet did touch a few hands before it made it to me but you can tell that they use good quality products now is it the top of the top of the line best helmet in the world you can get i don't know because i haven't tried them all but as far as what i've tried so far dude they got down to get down like you can tell they use premium material i know every now and again you'll have a, a a bad batch or a bad run but the material that they use dude it's it's top notch the helmet don't feel like it's about to fall apart it don't feel like oh if i take the liner out and put it back in it don't feel like the same helmet like no it's they got down with the get down now i will say and i will admit this helmet is loud as heck <laughs> it is it's actually i wouldn't call it ridiculously loud but it's pretty daggum loud like uh you can definitely tell like with the with the with the agv pista right riding on the street was never 
a thought or plan for this helmet. You can tell this helmet is 100% race focused, like 100%. Everything they did on this helmet is for racing. They could care less if you ride this helmet on the street because it, this helmet, <laughs> this helmet feels like race car is what it feels like. It is, it is loud. It feels, it's, it's not like cheap or anything like that but it's just loud like insulation who cares race car <laughs> uh and that's literally i mean i don't even know if you want to call it a bad thing because i enjoy hearing the elements and the motor and stuff like that but um if you had to nitpick it's loud but it's not even really it's not even a bad thing like that like the helmet is so good you can get over it being loud like i said i normally wrap with earbuds in so no big deal um, but for this particular ride, I was like, yo, let me ride without the earbuds so I can see how loud this helmet is. And yes, this helmet is loud. And trying to get that joint set up for vlogging whew, was difficult. But I think you guys are going to be very impressed with what I was able to accomplish with getting this set up for vlogging. Um, but that is not what this episode about is about. Uh, putting the two helmets head to head, I have to give it to the AGV Pista. Um, and the only reason, right? The only reason the AGV piece the wins is the liner. Now, with the diffuser on the HJC, the ARFA, with the diffuser on, it cuts through the wind just as well as the AGV. Um, it, I think the AGV might be a little bit lighter than the HJC, but with the diffuser on, literally can't tell the difference. And at least the HJC does have some street comforts built into it. Like, uh, you're not going to get your eardrums blasted out, you know, <laughs> with the HJC. There's vents that open and close with the HJC. So they did think about, hey, you know what? The guy, this is a race-focused helmet, but the guy might go on the street as well. AGV was like, bro, you buying this, you're supposed to be on the racetrack. If you're on the street, that's your fault. <laughs> that's pretty much what they did with this uh, um, but I didn't want this hel episode. I didn't want this episode to be too long. These two helmets, head to head, back to back. I give it to the AGV Pista, literally only because of the liner. Outside of that, HJC got down. So uh, kudos to HJC for making uh, one really amazing product. Um, to go from the R11 Pro to hey, we're gonna go to a top tier helmet uh, class at a fraction of the cost. That's pretty daggum amazing. Um, but even in that, that piece does something special. I, I understand why it carries the price tag that it carries. And um, I believe it's, I honestly believe it's worth it. You know, as far as uh, being safe and uh, protections, uh, that's pretty cool. Speaking of that, and I'm really trying to get out of here real fast, but I like that the, uh, I like the FIM certification that the uh, HJC has. Uh, that's pretty daggum dope. Um, so, again, both helmets are great. Can't go wrong either way. Um, if I have to complain, HJC uh, could use a better liner to be more comfortable on the skin. And the um, AGV could be a little bit quieter. But other than that, there's no complaints about either of these helmets. They're, they're good. You, can go, you can't go wrong either way. But anyway, that's my episode for you guys. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. You know who it is. It's your boy, Dumongus. No, 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 Thank you for watching, dude. No, 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 Thank you for watching, dude. No, 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 all right, dude and dude that say what up? It's your boy Dude Bungus. We're back today and I'm excited because today we are in the ARFA 1, HJC ARFA 1, and it's time to test it out to see how it vlogs. I'm a little excited and kind of nervous because I know there are some helmets that are literally just too windy. It is what it is at this point. Somebody did pass because I'm, I'm starting to catch them. I always know when somebody passed because I will catch them before the end of this thing. Yeah, I think we will know by the time we finish this if we're going to get or not. But something I am going to do before I finish this, we're going to get on the highway and test it out at Dude Mungus Cruising 
altitude. 